what's up fam welcome back so today i'm about to harvest some more from the cabbage that i did in the front garden bed yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow and show you what the one particular cabbage that I was letting grow out to get the seeds, what it's looking like now, and an update on a couple of the collards that I planted in this raised bed as well. And then I have to run some errands. So this is what it's looking like. These right here are some collards that I planted out here. Um, once it warms up a lot because it gets a whole lot of sun in the front, what I'm gonna do is move these collars and then put my peppers there. I already have some peppers planted down here. Um, the cabbage that I put in is not looking good at all. And then here is, look at it, that's crazy. Here's the cabbage that I'm letting seed out. You can see what it's looking like right here. I'm gonna cut down these onion stalks or the leaves of them. I'm gonna cut that down and then I'm going to spoon around it and see what it does, see if it um, bulbs up or anything like that. And that's from uh, an onion that I had when I was cooking. Look at it. So this one back here is about to start seeding out, but this is the one I'm gonna harvest off of again. I ate the last ones, y'all, it was so good. So I'm gonna pop these off. My romaine is big enough for me to start harvesting off of. It doesn't take a long time for uh, lettuce to grow, so that's a plus. So starting back with my juicing, y'all, so a good salad would be great. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness. Give me a little faith. Something to make me stronger. Someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I almost can't believe. is soaking the cabbage and the romaine in some water along with lemon juice. If there are any bugs on it that you can't see, you'll see it because they will float up. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with these. These are all my onion tops that I just clipped. So I'm gonna wash these really good, chop them down, and put them in the dehydrator. And this is what that water looks like. You can see down in there. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I know it's the dirt and everything from your leafy greens. You wanna make sure you don't have any bugs whatsoever <laughs> on your food because that's gonna be my dinner tonight, that cabbage. So now I'm gonna empty this out, clean the bowl, and do the same thing with my onion tops. So I'm basically doing the same thing. You see that black stuff floating around? I don't know if that's a bug or dirt. So 
this is what the water looks like after washing the onion tops. Now I'm about to pat these dry and throw them in the dehydrator so I can leave. And I'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, so since I don't have a lot of onion tops, um, I'm gonna space how I do it. This is my first time actually doing this with onion tops. I do bananas, apples, and you know, I do fruit, but I've not done vegetables. And I also have to order some of those um, little things that go on it. That way nothing falls through the holes. So I only have two more, so I have to... This is like five. This is by Nesco. It's okay. I would like to have one that has the um, temperature reading on it, the digital one. This one does not. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So this one can add a little bit more. And you don't really want them laying on top of each other. And that's that. I'll just put this in like so. I'm not gonna push it against the wall. I'm gonna have it about, yeah, about that distance from the wall in the cabinet. And that's it, so now I'm about to head out. I know it probably don't look good, you guys, but I promise you, it is good. And you can always, if you want to put some stevia in it, you can. I have not yet. I haven't even tasted it. Oh, it don't even need stevia. No, it don't even need stevia. I just tasted that one. Let me taste this one. Mmm. That's good. I didn't put any ginger in it this time, though. So this should last me all day. It might even last me to tomorrow because it honestly, it fills you up. It fills you up. 
So I'll see y'all in a little. Also, there is no waste with it. All of this pulp can be used for composting and that's what I'm about to do. So it's been four hours since I started dehydrating my onion tops. Now I'm just getting some of these oxygen absorbers out. This is my first time opening this. I've had it sitting on my table for about mm, two months now, maybe. So it comes with the 50 that you saw there. It has labels and over on the other side is where you have the different size bags that I ordered. I won't be using these bags. However, I will be using some glass jars, mason jars to put those in along with the oxygen absorber. These come five in a single pack. Correct that. It's 50 in this whole bag, but they have them individually wrapped, five in each separate pack. And that way you don't have to waste your oxygen absorbers. So these are nice and crunchy, and that's what you want. You don't want it to be pliable because that would mean you still have moisture inside of whatever it is you are dehydrating. So let me get these prepared and put them in the jar. And then we'll move over to the oxygen absorbers. So this is what I meant by five in a pack. So you pull the pack out, you have five in this one little pack and they have them sealed up. That way when you open it, you're using it for whatever you're using it in and then you're putting the rest of them into another jar immediately. So you don't have to worry about the rest of your oxygen absorbers going bad. And that's what you see me doing here. I apologize, my youngest child is playing music, but y'all, I'm as clumsy as clumsy can get. <laughs> 